Hey, my virgins. So I have a newfound respect for you, especially since you all were voted the sign to least likely hurt someone. A sign that would least likely hurt you. Scorpio was number one for the sign that will most likely hurt you. And I think Gemini and Leo was on there. But the sign, the earth signs were the signs that were least likely to hurt you. So I guess the more earth you have in your chart, it is, I guess, easier to trust you. All right, let's just invite God into the reading. I just want to ask God to be a part of this reading and to guide us All right, to higher levels of consciousness. I hope this reading resonates for you, but it's not going to resonate with every Virgo out there. If not, try your moon sign or your rising sign if you're new. Hello, welcome. I am Sunshine, and this is Sunshine Tarot. Subscribe and uh, um, hit the notification bell. All right. Also, if you want a reading, you can go to www.sunshinetarot.net and you can order a reading there. Okay. I hope you hear your story, but if not, there are a lot of amazing readers on YouTube. Okay. And I'm sure somebody somewhere will have your story. Okay. But I hope that I pick up on you because it's always fun, you know, when you're re looking at a reader and you can hear your story. Okay. All right. So Virgos, Virgos for September. What message do you have for Virgo's life purpose in September? What message do you have? Spiritual teacher. Oh my God. I had done a reading before uh, and I had to cancel it at 21 min minutes and spiritual teacher was the card that you, I mean, that I pulled for you. Wow. So, um, I don't know what all those symbols represent, represent on that card. Do any of you guys know? I see yin yang. I don't, I don't really know what the rest of these symbols are. I think I see the star of David. Oh, I see a cross. Okay, it says you have you heal with classes, sessions, and seminars, which usually means that you start with a book. You know, that's the way that uh, many people get started as teachers. They have some type of book that, uh, you know, gets them bookings and stuff like that. So maybe you need to be working on a book, okay? Maybe you need to be working on a book. You guys definitely have the um, patience for it. You definitely have the organization, no skills for it, most of you, okay? Because you guys are methodical and you can plan things out. So if you know you're a spiritual teacher, you know, start with uh, writing a book. I wish I would have wrote a book at an earlier age because I definitely wanted to do spiritual teaching, you know? So, all right, your next life purpose card is to trust. I've been seeing this a lot, and it says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Wow. But I really want to uh, encourage you to write a book. If you've been thinking about it for a long time, you know, get, get serious about it. All right, because I really feel like you have the uh, potential of being uh, somebody pretty big in the spiritual uh, world, okay? Whether it's the law of attraction, the Bible, uh, Islam, you know, whatever. It says spiritual teacher, so that can mean anything, right? It says, my happiness is my greatest gift to others. Hmm. Selfishly seek joy because your joy is the greatest gift you can give to anyone. Happy birthday, Virgos, by the way. Happy birthday if your birthday is today and you're a Virgo. And it says, unless you are in joy, you have nothing to give anyway. Hmm. That's interesting, is it not? So, Virgos, the last time we talked, some of you had a new patient. And, uh... <laughs> Others of you, you know, Virgos, they just, they have that graveyard love. Some of them do. And, uh, you know, you just, you've been dealing with the patient for years. 
All right, okay, Virgos, I don't know. Let's see what's in the cards for September. Virgos, love, September. Virgos, what's going on in their love life? And what's going to happen in their love life? Virgo's love life, September. I feel like you are pretty content, you know? Some of you, I don't feel like there's um, a lot going on, okay? Uh, you may have invested in someone you may have been investing in someone for a long time, all right? And maybe your investment wasn't getting reciprocated, and so I don't know why you stopped investing in someone, but it looks like you've stopped investing in someone that maybe you have for a long time given a lot of yourself to. You know, maybe you have given up on a friend who you're in love with becoming more than a friend or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's like you've changed your perspective with the hangman upside down, right? You really did, though. Like, you get it now because the hangman is a major arcana, so it's pretty profound. Like, you have finally decided, um, you know, you're making these really strong decisions about, um, and this could be a job. You may have stopped wanting to invest in a job, a business, a client, but there's something very valuable that you've decided that you aren't going to invest in anymore because uh, you, you just have changed your mind. I know one Virgo who has been in love with someone for many, many, many years, and the person uh, has been very clear about the fact that they're not interested in the same sex, but, you know, the woman still holds on, and uh, I feel like if this represents her, um, it's like you are really changing your perspective, like, you know what, I think I've, I've tried long enough. Okay, I'm not saying that any of you guys are leaving because this perspective could be completely different. But, you know, just generally speaking, there's been a very strong change of perspective. And it looks like whoever this is for, like I said, you don't want to uh, invest in someone. Yeah. And then it is clarified by the four of coins reversed, you know, which means that uh, there was someone that you were really holding on tight to or there is an investment, a job, a, a relationship, a child. But. Uh, since this is a romantic reading there was someone that, or something you were really holding on to and you have decided to let this go because you have dis you've changed your perspective about things and it could be a new man or a new person um, maybe somebody who is around who is expressing an interest in you uh, I see you going forward uh, with another man or forward with another woman or, you know, like I see the king of swords here. So this is a man with a plan and you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini or uh, an Aquarius. Right. So uh, you could be letting go of one person because you want to see what other opportunities are out there. Right. And, you know, maybe this air sign is being a little cold to you for some of you as far as romance is concerned, uh, possibly. Let's see what we have next. Yeah. Um, I see some of you are still waiting. Um, you know, you you are still. Well, no, not. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You, this is, you turning your back. So it looks like you are thinking, maybe I can be with somebody who has a plan uh, or who wants to be with me too, who wants the same thing that I want. Okay. 
And then I see you walking away emotionally from um, someone who, like I said, you have been previously invested in just because emotionally you're not getting back what you invest. And I do feel like you care very deeply for this person, especially for them to come in as pentacles. So you do care a lot for this person, but I just think, you know, you have a different plan now. And uh, the plan is to, um, is to seek the unknown, you know? I feel like you do want to be uh, with this person, but uh, I think you're really starting to realize, and, and it may change in October, you know, like you may need to get to this place to make this shift in order for something else to shift. But the way that things have been going up until now, you know, it hasn't shifted the way that you want it to. And I feel like you're going ahead into the unknown uh, and then you're going to meet someone. This person could be around you already. We have the Knight of Cups, right? Uh, I like the Knight of Cups. I heard one reader said that they don't trust the Knight of Cups too much, right? Yeah, then I see you uh, meeting someone new. And uh, they're coming towards you, so they're very interested. Like this person, like they're they don't come towards you. You know, uh, they're not like loving and touchy feeling or something. Something is kind of cold, but you guys have coins. So you guys might be really invested in each other. Could be like a friend that you're really invested in. Oh no. So someone new comes along. Ooh, the lovers. And you guys become lovers. Could be uh, a Gemini. Looks like you guys uh, begin to build something. And this could have already happened. This is happening or it will happen. Looks like you will start to build something uh, with this person as well as build something with the other person. But it looks like what you and the other person build could be like a solid friendship or something that morphs into something else that's not romantic, but I still feel them in your life very strongly, okay? But as far as you getting your needs met romantically, it looks like this new person or this Gemini or is somebody who is different from the person who has not been responding. So if you're already dealing with the Gemini, it could be another Gemini, okay? Or uh, a Sagittarius. I mean, uh, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So you guys are going to be building something with each other. Uh, there's a possibility that this person could be married um, or still legally bound to someone with the justice card reverse. All right. It looks like they don't love that other person anymore. Um, but, yeah, I, I see them intoxicated by you. Could be a Capricorn. Um, like somebody's really, really think that, that you're hot. They're codependent on you as well. Um, very clingy, needy. They could have a drinking problem. They could have a, a pornography uh, problem. All right. So I, I definitely feel like you guys are in, either you are a Virgo that's in a relationship or uh, it, it with the emperor looking in your direction, I feel like somebody is coming along and you guys are going to start dating. You're going to build a friendship first and it's going to seem very easy. It's just that there's some legal stuff that somebody has to deal with or, uh, you know, something like that. But whoever this person is still tied to, they don't love them anymore. Uh, it looks like they are uh, looking at you. And uh, with the emperor here, you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Uh, with the emperor here, uh, apparently they want to have something um, serious with you. I 
feel like uh, you might be a little um, nervous. This person may make you nervous only because they give you butterflies, you know, um, like you really, uh, some of you are really aroused by this person. Maybe like you've never been before, you know, like you can tell, you know, when you guys are making love, it's really intense. So, um, yeah, that's what I see for, I guess you singles. Yeah, so either you're dealing with someone and it looks like it's going to develop into a relationship or someone is coming. Okay, especially if the first part resonated, you know, like you're uh, letting go of someone, no longer investing in something because you can see the truth. So you're divorcing yourself from the situation and, um, you know, waiting for you don't really know, but you know that whatever it is that you're looking for, that wasn't it. And then somebody real sweet comes in, real sweet, and they're just going to love you. The Knight of Cups with the lovers, that's sweet. The Knight of Cups is walking into the lovers. I, I have this song by Michelle A. in my head playing, too. There's something in my heart. So there's something really powerful about the love that you're in or a love that is coming, Virgos, because I can feel it. And like I said, happy birthday, Virgos. All right. Let's take a look at uh, Virgos in relationships. Okay. This thing is getting ready to die. I don't know how that happened. Virgos in relationships. Virgos in relationships. So uh, you guys are making it through and you've gone through your good side, your, your good times, your bad times. You guys, you know, the nine of wands kind of talks about triumph, but a bruising along the way, you know, so it hasn't always been easy, but there is a love there. And there is with the justice card here, commitment, right? Um, you know, somebody feels like you are the right one for them. Yeah. Ace of cups. They love you. This could be a new person too, for some of you. And it just feels right. Um, right. Three of pentacles. Yeah. So this person reverse, um, is only collaborating with you. All right. And, uh, not collaborating with others. But I do feel like they have some issues, like they, they do do things that can sabotage the relationship. And I think it has something to do with uh, mental illness here, you know. Some of some of you are with someone that needs to be on psych meds and they would, you know, uh, be more effective in their lives. But anyway... Um, Huh. Yeah, the moon is here with the five of swords. Yeah, some of you are definitely like maybe one of the reasons that is so hard dealing with it with this person is because you're dealing with the patient. You're dealing, you know, uh, Virgos really want to help people a lot. You know, they want to be in servitude to people. And so sometimes they'll go get the craziest person that's out there uh, to help them and to feel needed in their relationship. And so what we talk about, I laugh with Virgos and I say, listen, let the patients be the people who you help on your spare time and let your spouse be someone who has some sense here. But looks like some of you are with someone that has some issues and I see you guys continuing to invest in each other. Okay. They may tell you some secret stuff about their childhood in September. You may find out about some uh, hidden abuse or something like that. Okay. And, and it is, there's something that your partner is keeping to themselves about their past that really uh, is driving them crazy. Okay. I, I'm really getting a very strong vibe of, um, of, of like maybe needing to talk to a therapist or a psychiatrist to for them to get a diagnosis okay uh, I feel like you I don't know if you really trust your person 
okay? Because sometimes it's kind of hard to make this work, but you, you have the strength and the fortitude and the desire to uh, want to make this work. You could be dealing with the Leo or have Leo in your chart. And uh, in September, I see you holding on in this relationship. Wow, I see the Empress. Some of you are like, you have taken a vow or you, you're with someone that you are really committed to. Like, I just feel a very strong sense of commitment. Like somebody feels like you are a damn catch and they are committed to this connection with you. So some of you are married and some of you are not. All right, let's look at the charms. If this disconnects, there will be an extended reading, okay? So I just want you to know. Let's look this here. Okay, so we have engagement. Again, I see a suitcase. Some of you could be traveling real soon. Capricorn, we saw the Capricorn in the reading. Poly, some of you could be entertaining the idea of a polyamorous relationship and trying it out for yourself. I see a castle, so some of you are going to be buying new homes and getting new furniture with a chair there. All right. What letters come out for you, Virgos? What letters? S and A. As. Hmm. S and A come out for you, Virgins. All right. So, Virgo Crosswatch. How does Virgo feel about you? Virgo cross watcher. How does Virgo feel about you? Virgo cross watcher. How does Virgo feel about you? All right. Eight of Wands. Virgo is starting to um, slow down their role uh, regarding this connection, okay? Um, they may be a little less responsive. They uh, are attracted to you and see you as somebody that they want to be with. I don't know if you're the new one or the one that they're going away from, though, to be honest, okay? So, um, yeah, I feel like... Virgo is very open to you and um, definitely has feelings for you, but they could be starting to accept that. Um, no, that's not true. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Okay, well, it looks like whoever is watching Virgo uh, exalts you higher than any other woman in his life. Uh, or, or Virgo exalts you higher than any other man in her life. And uh, she's very open to you and very open to having something else, but moving into acceptance of maybe this is not going to happen for some reason. Yeah, the, the hangman comes again, okay? So, you know, they're thinking maybe you don't want the same. Uh, and so they're making different plans to be somewhere else and not invest in this anymore. And this could be vice versa, okay? So... All right, Virgos who are seeing someone and you really like them, or Virgos who are seeing someone. So you're the cross watcher and you're seeing the Virgo and things are going pretty smooth. So you're the cross watcher, you're seeing the Virgo, things are going pretty smooth, okay? How does Virgo feel about you in September? How does Virgo feel about you in September. All right. Virgo um, is still thinking about somebody from their past. Okay. Uh, and Virgo is not sure if they can trust you yet. I don't know if it's because of previous hurts or, you know, uh, if like from other people or what. It looks like Virgo is starting to um, not have such a strong grip uh, on this relationship. There's, they are starting to feel more relaxed, you know, in it. Okay. Um, I honestly, I kind of feel like Virgo is pulling away and um, a little unsure about which direction 
uh, huh. So, okay, all right, so I see that Virgo, either you are still thinking about your ex and the Virgo knows that or senses that you're cheating or could be deceiving. Somebody doesn't trust somebody. They see distrust, but they could be letting go of the distrust that they had, all right? But at the same time, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like this is so weird. I feel like, put it this way, the Virgo still wants to work on the relationship. They do, all right? And uh, they want to continue to build on this relationship with you because of the Two of Cups. It looks like, apparently, uh, they're very fond of you. It's just that they still could be dealing with somebody else. Uh, they could be trying to let that person go and not give that other person an offer anymore. Okay, um, but they go back and forth because they really wanted it to work with that person. Okay, possibly. And, uh, and now they're with you because this is an ace of pentacles here and they uh, feel happier uh, with you. That could be another way to read that. Okay, Virgo, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. How much more time do we have? Okay. So now let's look into the extension here. Virgos. September. Virgos. September. Extension. Virgos. 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 All right, Virgos, if the person that you were dealing with ghosted you, um, how are they feeling? They feel bad about it. They do. If you've left someone, how are they feeling? They're feeling depressed that they have to let you go. All right. All right. Where is this relationship going? How does Virgo feel? I mean, how does... Well, how does Virgo feel? How does... Virgo's person feel? What is this person hiding? What is Virgo hiding? Is there someone else? Does Virgo have someone else? How do they secretly feel about you? How does Virgo secretly feel about you? What is the outcome for September? For couples, what is the outcome for September? for singles. So if you want to see the extended version of this video, the link would be at the top of the description box. I mean the top of the comments and after in the top of the description box. Okay. Singles. Uh, your Virgo is um, feeling very depressed. Either you're depressed or they're depressed. They feel they're in this darkness right now. Um, somebody that you're dealing with, they might suffer from depression, all right? They can't see, and uh, they're in this darkness, and they're trying to get out of this darkness is what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. So it's kind of overshadowing how they feel because they're overwhelmed right now. This is a patient. All right, Virgos in relationships, how is your person feeling? Um, they feel like you, they didn't come this far to stop now, all right? Uh, they believe that you guys have overcome a lot of obstacles with each other, and they want to become even more committed to you um, because they are in love with the Two of Cups. All right. So if you want to see the extended version of this video, the link is at the top of the comment section and in the description box. It will say click below for the Virgo extended September reading. And there's two links. Either one goes to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee, you can see the video. Okay. Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your September reading. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.